As you can see from my TED video, my parents started reading to my sister and I when we were pretty young, but they didn't neglect our musical sides either. They actually started me on piano and violin at the tender age of four, hoping, no doubt, like many other similar parents, that their child too would become a well-rounded, musically literate little person. It was not to be, for me at least. Because music had a soporific, I love that word, soporific effect on me, I would sometimes just fall asleep at the piano keys during lessons. And my crowning achievement on violin after three years of practice was playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Wasn't making much progress. However, I wasn't completely devoid of accomplishments. Did I mention I was writing hundreds of short stories, my redeeming factor? Perhaps because of my skill in writing, and perhaps because they finally realized how much money they were wasting on me, my parents finally let me quit piano and violin when I was seven. So instead of using that time, I know some of their kids, you know, they would have been like, okay, quit piano and violin now, guess what, I get to watch cartoons. Well, I wasn't like that. I thought, you know, my parents had let me quit this for a reason, so I, wanted, I used that time to write, and I r wrote a lot. I actually published a book when I was seven, and so to me, that was a positive step. And I think that just like we keep bad drivers off the road and we hire the best people for the job, the world is probably a little better off without me screeching away on piano or violin and writing, teaching, and speaking instead. Now, you might be wondering why I'm telling you this story in the first place. It does actually have a moral. It's not give up music and write instead, although that admittedly worked for me. It's not don't spend money on your child's music education, though that's what I want my parents to think. No, what I'd really like to say is, is that when we kids find our unique passions, whether it's writing spy novels or researching spider webs, it's the parents' role and the educators' role to support that, not discourage. So the moral of my story is this. Adults should be open-minded to what kids can achieve, no matter how they achieve it. So to my sister Adriana, achieving meant playing music. Music meant a lot more to her than it did to me. It was and continues to be her passion. Like any normal, si normal siblings, we do argue and compete a lot. I think we've had three arguments today already. <laughs> and, uh, but if there's one thing we agree on, it's that I will never beat her on a musical instrument, except for maybe air guitar, because I can do a pretty good head roll. Um, but when it comes to music, my sister is truly an intrepid explorer. On a given day, you, you might hear her on the piano playing works ranging from Beethoven to Beyonce and Liszt to Lady Gaga. So she really enjoys exploring that field. Uh, one of her favorite quotes is by Gustav Mahler. He once said, if a composer could say what he had to say in words, he would not bother trying to say it in music. So why should I be doing the talking? Adriana has much, much more to say. Here she is.